Hi, I'm Sam. I'm here on behalf of JGM Cycles and today we'll be talking about this. It's the Merida Big 7 600. Um, it's a hardtail bike from Merida. Um, starting with the frame, uh, it's got smooth welds, so they've been double welded to make it look extra smooth, uh, almost carbon-like. Um, you've got internal routing, so none of the cables on the outside, uh, they all run internally and exit down on the bottom bracket area. Uh, that's to keep the cables out of the way in case you crash. Uh, stop them from snagging on any hedges, hedgerows, anything like that. Uh, it also makes it a lot easier to clean as well. Moving on to the forks, uh, we've got some Manito machete forks here in 100 millimeters. Um, if you rode throughout the 90s and 2000s, you remember Manito as being a really high-end um, fork, basically a fork company. Um, recently, Rockshox and Fox have kind of taken over the market, but Manito have been been there in the background, mainly specking them on full builds uh, in Europe, especially in Germany, they've got a big following. They, they still make amazing forks. It's just, like I say, RockShox Fox kind of took over that market a bit. Um, in terms of the forks, 100 mil, they've got full lockout. You've got 15 mil quick release. Uh, feel really plush, um, really great fork for the price, especially. Uh, moving on from the fork, you've got full SLX uh, gear setup. Well, I say full, but you've got Sunrace uh, cassette, which I'll go on to in a second. Um, you've got 30 tooth SLX at the front at single speed. Um, so single and 11 speed. Sorry, it's not single speed. It's one at the front, 11 on the back. So it's actually one by 11 speed. Um, and then you've got this massive Sunrace uh, cassette, which is 1150. So you've got a huge range of gears there. So it could climb up anything. Um, as I was mentioning earlier, the short back end, um, that would be really good for trail feel. Uh, you've got a long top tube, uh, so it's going to be easy to climb, easy to manoeuvre around the trails. Uh, if you've got a young teenager, um, I know they like wheeling, uh, so this would be really easy to wheelie, uh, especially with that short back end. Um, other than that, we've got brakes from Shimano. Um, it's basically entry-level Shimano, so they work really well. Um, easy to maintain. To finish it off, we've got a 720 mil wide handlebar, which is about um, mid-range uh, width. It's wide enough to be able to handle the trail, but not too wide that you're going to get caught on uh, trees at the side. And you've got the great Maxxis Icon um, tyres in the folding, so it's going to grip the ground a lot better. And they're 2.2, so they're not too wide, but wide enough that they'll give a good amount of grip out there on the trail. So all in all, um, I'd say this is a fantastic uh, hardtail. If you've already got a full suspension bike, this will complement it really well. Um, if I was to get one of these, I'd say I'd use it throughout winter to save the suspension on your full suspension um, from needing servicing after winter. Or uh, it's a great entry-level bike, especially at the price. You get a really good spec um, throughout on this Merida Big 7 600.